month to date has been pretty wild. It is the last trading day of the month, and so far you've got for the month to date the Dow off by 4.44 percent. The S&P is down by 7 percent, and month to date the Nasdaq is in the worst position. It's down by 12 percent. This morning you might hope for some green arrows. Um, not so at the moment. Dow futures down by 200. The S&P futures down by 17. The Nasdaq is just below fair value. It's down by about five points this morning. So we'll see uh, if we make this week a little bit better of a start than we had last week. In the headlines this morning, Netflix co-CEO Reed Hastings disclosing that he bought $20 million worth of Netflix shares between last Friday and Thursday. Thursday and Friday, I should say. This is his first open market purchase of Netflix stock since the company went public back in 2002. So that if, if that tells you anything about how he's feeling about things, well, you know, some a sign of confidence. Netflix shares were down by about 35 percent so far this year. This morning, they're indicated up by just over 3 percent. Andrew? Okay. Uh, meantime, we've been uh, talking about this all morning. Kathy Woods' ARK Innovation Fund was a darling of the early pandemic stock trade. Its bets on next-gen companies paid off handsomely at the time, with ARK's share price more than quadrupling from early 2020 to early 2021. But with the Fed now on pace to raise interest rates and, of course, the possibility of a waning pandemic this year could lead to much less working from home, Woods' tech-focused fund has suffered and suffered big time, and that's where our next guest comes in. He's created a fund to short the arc, and so far it's going pretty well. Joining us right now is the creator of SARC, as in short arc fund, Matt Tuttle. He's the CEO of Tuttle Management. Good morning to you. Um, Matt, let's just start. When did, when did you come up with this idea? So we came up with this idea at the beginning of the summer, um, and really, at that point, you had, you know, short interest in RK at about 2.7 billion, and and plus we knew that the macro environment was likely to be challenging for speculative technology companies. So it just made a lot of sense at that point for us to launch the product. You know, we were talking earlier that, that a lot of folks have made this personal, not just about ARC itself, but about Kathy Woods and her approach. Is this personal for you? No, not at all. I mean, we've got great respect for Kathy Woods. We've got great respect for ARC and, and what they've done. This is purely, they've created a, a whole new sector, really. You know, speculative technology, unprofitable technology, whatever you would want to call it. And there's really no tool out there for investors to you know, express a bearish view on that sector. So that was purely why we did this. Nothing personal at all. Have you talked to her about this? Has anyone, has anyone from ARC contacted you? They, they have not. Uh, I mean, we're going down to an ETF conference in April that she's going to be there. So, you know, maybe, but uh, not as of yet. Let's talk about some of the investments. Just last week, as you know, she doubled down in some ways, maybe quadrupled down uh, on the likes of Robinhood and Tesla. Um, do you look at that from an investor? And I don't, I don't know when you look at your fund, how you think about the investment thesis or not, or your view is just, you know, let the chips fall where they may. But do you look at that and say, this, this is a terrible mistake of an investment? Or do you say, great, we'll just see what happens? So, you know, there's certainly, whenever you are as transparent as they are with their trades, there's always the opportunity to second guess. I mean, we run some actively managed funds and, you know, nobody, uh, you know, typically when you're doubling down on something in a bear market, that tends not to end well. So certainly you can criticize some of those moves, but we're, ba I mean, we're looking at Sark really more as a bet against speculative technology, you know, certainly if if they're making some of these bets and they don't turn out, that does benefit the fund. So it, it is something we're keeping an eye on. And, and when you think about the, the success or failure of this fund, again, this goes to sort of, are you just sort of hoping the chips land where they may? Or are you hoping, do you, do you say to yourself, man, I hope she doubles down on this stuff because I think it's going to zero? Again, I mean, certainly when they make those trades, if they go wrong, it helps us. Um, but again, you know, we see this really as two main things. Number one, a bet on what's going on in the macro environment. 
you know, you've got the possibility, you've got, you know, Bank of America saying seven rate increases. You've got Boston right. getting us ready for maybe 50 bips. And regardless of that, to me, this is a better hedge than saying shorting the S&P or the NASDAQ if you've got a negative market view. I'd rather short spec tech than bank. Is this a retail bet? For the most part, I see lots of folks on Reddit and other places talking about your fund. Or is this something that's really built to some degree for institutions? And how are you seeing that play out? We're really seeing it play out both ways. I mean, I'm very active on Twitter. I get a lot of people communicating with us on Twitter about this. But, you know, we also look at the trades. And, you know, you'll see 50,000 share blocks and things like that that you just know aren't retail. Um, so, you know, we looked at this really coming out is, is a little bit more of a retail product. But we've also talked to a lot of investment banks that are doing this internally for clients. And they've told us that, you know, this might end up being a better solution for those clients as well. So we're really seeing right. it as both. What do you make of the fact that you're able to pull this off because Kathy Woods is so transparent? Well, it, it really has nothing to do with that. We're able to pull this off really because of the success that, that ARC has had, it makes it an extremely liquid investment. And so for us to get swap exposure directly on ARK, which is you know how we do this, it makes it very easy to do. So, I mean, ironically, their success in raising assets has, has made it you know able for us well, to be able to well, launch this. And that's what I was going to ask you, though. Do you think of this as a long-term or short-term product? If, if your product works, it means that her product is not working. And therefore, over time, I imagine, your product can't work either. Well, so not necessarily. So I look at this like the inverse S&P and the inverse NASDAQ funds. I mean, she could generate 40% returns a year, but there, it's not going to be linear. And especially with the stocks that they own, they're going to have times when they're doing very well, and they're going to have times when they're doing very poorly. And again, if you've got a bearish view on the market, because eventually, you know, either this correction gets worse, which we think it will, eventually we get into a bear market at some point. To me, this, this tool is a better hedge than an inverse S&P or an inverse NASDAQ fund. Matt, that's my question. If you think she's going to have times that she does very well and times that she does very poorly, wouldn't your fund do the same thing? Do very well at times and then do very poorly? Or is there a point where you break off where you don't necessarily um, act as the reflection of, of the opposite reflection of what they're doing? No. So because of the way the fund is structured, we're always going to be the opposite reflection. We're not making any judgments. We're, you know, we're not actively managing the portfolio. Mm -hmm. We are short ARC K directly through swap contracts. Hmm. So, you know, if they're up 5%, we're going to be down somewhere around 5%. Matt, uh, we want to thank you. Uh, it's fascinating to see what you're doing. Uh, it'll be fascinating to see uh, who wins in the end, uh, though I imagine it's possible both of you do in different ways. Talk to you soon. Thanks. Thank you.